Yeah, man. How you doing tonight? I'm doing okay, man. Just hanging out. You know, just came out to to, to promote and uh, let the uh, let the world know, you know, what's going on and, and what I'm doing nowadays. Yeah, man. I appreciate you so much for coming here and supporting us because uh, you've got a flight back to Detroit tomorrow. Uh, you guys are winning now. I mean, like, the Lions are, like, on top of the league right now. Hey, it, it, They're one of the teams in football. Hey, it's an awesome feeling, man. It's an awesome <laughs> feeling just to see everybody and um, the whole fan base that comes to, uh, to what the Lions are doing right now and just put it all on the line. I think it's time. I think it's time for them to make it to the Super Bowl this year. Tell me how your story. I know you came out of Cincinnati. Uh, you were outstanding. You were, were a six-round pick. You made it to the NFL, uh, Haitian descent, yes. the proud heritage, coming through uh, Nassau, Bahamas. Uh, Step away let's talk more about that. Your basically, beginning. Basically, just um, you know, both my parents from Haiti came to the United States to to live a, uh, for them to to have the kids live a better life, get a good education, and to pretty much just uh, accomplish uh, the goals that that they set forth and for us as siblings to come and you know uh, have have a good living and to and to work and to sacrifice and put forth the uh, you know to uh, have a better living yeah and I mean you must be proud man the first football player of Haitian descent in the NFL this is your book uh, tell me more info on this book and and when it's dropping well, my book has dropped since May 2023, and I wrote this book because because um, I feel that no matter what nationality you come from, you can make it. And for me, as uh, for my family, I think it gave me a motivation to become the first to attend college yes. on the football scholarship to the University of Cincinnati, and also to be drafted Right to the Detroit Lions in the sixth round draft choice in the 1994 draft. I mean, anything's possible. Yeah. But the most important thing that I would tell the ones that want to be in the NFL education is the key to being successful. Yes, sir. Without the education drafted, right to the deep thinking, be anything could have been possible. And for me, I took education seriously, and without that, it couldn't get me in college. I was fortunate enough to earn a degree, a criminal justice degree. Yes. Because life after football is serious. Without that, you cannot still be successful. And the NFL, it stands for not for long. Right. Unfortunately, I played three years, but those were the best three years of my life. And right now, to this day, I can say I can wake up in the morning and go, wake up in the morning, walk, put my clothes on, and also go to work at the same time, and it, it's definitely a blessing. Yeah. How uh, how often do you connect with the folks back in Detroit? Well, every year, every year I go back and I do connect with the best running back ever, Barry Sanders. Yes, sir. And all the uh, Benny Blades, uh, Herman Moore, Bar Perriman. I can go on and on and on. When we go back, it's just like it was just yesterday. We was in his locker room trying to get ready for a game. So it's that's an awesome feeling to go back every year, and I'm looking forward to go back to Detroit when they play the Seattle Seahawks on the Monday Night Football. The whole world will be watching. Oh yeah, that's right. You guys are on in a couple of weeks, right? Yes. yes. Wow. The Lions are winning now. They're doing a great job. Uh, came this close. Yes. This close yes. to the Super Bowl. Yes. You must have been on edge, man. Oh, we're on edge because I was getting ready to go to Detroit. For us to go to the Super Bowl, unfortunately we didn't make it, but this is the year that we make it and have an opportunity to be going to the Super Bowl this year. We're on the Jeff Box Show. Um, I'm Jeff Box. We're talking with Jocelyn Borgella of the uh, Detroit Lions here, who's kind enough to join us on the show. Has a new book, of course, the first football player of Haitian descent in the NFL. Again, that's something that you got to be very proud of. But there's more to your story, uh, and you mentioned it after football. What was it like for you when you left the game? Did you struggle, uh, or did you find a sense of purpose? 
Well, my sense of purpose was giving back to the community. Once I left football, I started to coach high school level, just giving back to the youth that that anything's possible, giving them information, giving them all the techniques and the information that I receive to them so they can also be successful. Right. And like I said, without the education, after football, I was kind of lost because I didn't ha have a degree. Right. I was fortunate enough to go back to school to the University of Cincinnati and earn my my criminal justice degree. Love that. And that Love pretty that. much opened up the doors for me. So what I do now, I'm a forensic specialist. What I do now, I work for the CHI Community Health of South Florida. Yes, sir. And what I do is uh, monitor the mental ill that's back in the community. So it's a wonderful job for me, and I think I found something that I can definitely give back and give them advice how to be successful, get another chance for them having a second, second chance in life. I can't believe I'm going to ask you this question, but I'm going to ask you this question. You play with perhaps the greatest running back in the history of football and Barry Sanders. What was it like just to be his teammate, to watch this guy make five moves in three seconds? I like, mean, it was very, it was very, you couldn't miss a beat. You couldn't look away because you never know where he can score at any time. But I see just, just, just Barry Jen being a humble guy that he is, not just on the field, you know, the amazing things that he do on the field, but off the field also. He would sit right next to you or he would give you a conversation, just talk about life. Yeah. Not just football, but just his life. How you doing? How's everything going? How's the family doing? So besides just football, he's a very, very uh, kind guy and a very, uh, you know, respectful guy that, 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 that don't take nothing for granted and they'll spend time with you. So that's the most important thing I could just say about Barry. We've well, seen some great ones. Is he the best? Oh, he's the best. Have uh -huh. you seen him in person? He's yeah. the best. He is. He's number 5'9", about two or so pounds, but he's the best. Right. Um, well, again, I wanted to mention that the Lions right now are one of the better teams in the league. And I know you're happy to see that. I know the old guys get together, and they're hoping this team can take it to the next level. Do we have the right coach in Detroit? Oh, yeah, we definitely have the right choice. We have the right coach in Detroit right now that he's taking chances. He know capable of the team. He learned from his mistakes of what happened last year and definitely more conservative of what approach as far as getting the um, Lions to the Super Bowl. So I think he's definitely the right coach for the Lions. And your thoughts on the game as we look at the around the National Football League, we see the rule changes. Uh, they're looking to protect the guys more. I'm sure a lot of players that you played with. Yes. And I wanted to say, you look great, by the way. Well, thank you. You thank look you. great. Well, thank you. You look like you can go out there right now. <laughs> well, I can. I can. My, well, I guess. But my mind says yes, but my body says no. So I'm gonna just leave it up for the younger guys to yeah. continue their 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 goals and achievements in this National Football League. Your thoughts on the rule changes? You like the kickoff? A lot of people don't like it. But I'm well, all for the protection. The, the rule changes are very good. It's for the players. You want to protect the players because you never know. Because like I said, NFL stands for not for long. All it takes is one play, and, and that could be your end of your career. So I think the, good, the rule changes are very good and very interesting, and we could keep on installing the rules that, that, that make the, uh, the game safer. We're talking to Jocelyn Bargella, New York, the um – Detroit Lions, we're getting ready for the New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys coming up on Thursday Night Football. How do you feel about the game tonight? Well, I feel it's going to be an interesting game. So I won't have any predictions. It's a, it's a, no, it's a toss on, up. Give me a it's a toss up. Man. So, better, the, uh, you know, the better team wins. You know these Cowboy fans. Better come team wins. <laughs> you can't fall asleep on the Giants. That's all I can say. Yeah. Their running game is, is pretty good. Uh, Devin Singletary. Of course, and they got rid of the great one and Saquon Barkley. That's a move I'll never understand, bro. Like, what? I don't understand it. The NFL is a business. That's what it is. It's a business. But I can say this. On any given Thursday, on any given Sunday, a team could be beat. So you got to come in, there, come in there with your mind right and get ready to play football. You played, of course, in that Detroit Lions secondary. My friend Ryan Stewart played with you. He told me to tell you hello. 
Uh, Ryan part of the two live shoes out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, tell me the toughest wide receiver you ever had to go with uh, to, to cover. I'll say the toughest wide receiver who I had to go with, I'm going to give you two. Herman Moore, that's 6'4", and about 200-something pounds, could just, just. Herman get, Moore was before Megatron, folks. Oh, yeah. This is before, before Megatron. Before Megatron. And yeah. then another receiver is Johnny Morton. Johnny USC. Morton, number 87. Johnny Morton also. So it, it, I can go back and on and on and on, <laughs> but these guys here was, was awesome. Awesome receivers. Yeah, I remember watching them on Thanksgiving Day every year. You guys had some great games, especially against the Chicago Bears. You always had a great punt returner. Uh, you always had a great punt returner. I, I know the punt returner. You're talking about Mel Gray. Mel Gray. Mel Gray. Man, that guy had so much speed. His only, <laughs> his, 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 he only had one way, one direction was straight. Yeah. Straight. Speed and straight. And never know, you never know he can score a touchdown. Wow. Um, your thoughts on him locally here in Miami, because you live in Miami yes. now, right? Yes. Uh, our Hurricanes are back. Getting national recognition. Your old good friend, Mario. Yes. Cristobal is yes. the head coach. Yes. What do you think about the U? We play uh, Virginia Tech tomorrow night at Hard Rock. I think the U can can win if they stay focused and continue to uh, get better and, and reach their goal. So I'm looking forward to be a good game. Virginia Tech is a tough team. But can be beat. I would say limit the mistakes, and you win the game. You yeah. Win. You think we can hang with the likes of um, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee? Are we back? Is the U back? Well, we're getting there. Every week it shows and it tells how much better we get. So you cannot fall asleep. You got to continue to keep the pedal on the gas and move forward and just go by game by game. Don't yes, worry about sir. the next game. Get worried about what you can control. Yeah. It's a beautiful venue, man. What do you think of this place? Oh, this Where is a nice place, man. Just hang out place, man. It's a nice place. <laughs> I think everybody should come on out, you know, have some food, good food, good drinks. But it's a nice place, man. Just glad to be here uh, to promote my book. Go ahead and get it. It's on Amazon.com. And I'm also having my book signing event on November 19th at 6 o'clock at the North Regional Library on 183rd. So you get your books, bring your books with you, and have oh, wow. an autograph session. I did not know that. Yes. On 183rd. Yes, because my book is getting promoted in the library. They're getting Miami put Gardens? It, Miami Gardens. My book is getting promoted in the Miami Dade Library, so that's an accomplishment for me. And I thank the Miami Dade Library organization for putting it in, li in the library. I tell you what, uh, my CEO, uh, my Rich Paul, Tommy Green, is out there somewhere. We're going to pull up at the library. Yes. Because I want people to know your story. Yes. It's inspirational. Okay. It's inspiring. You never know which kid out there playing football wants to be the next great quarterback go back. like yourself. And and the topic is what it takes to be an NFL player. So that's the theme of the book signing. What it takes to be a football player. And I'll be there. November 19th at 6 o'clock at the North Region Library just to talk about the direction you should go of me becoming a first football player of Haitian descent to be drafted in the NFL. Big news right now. And, of course, the Haitian people is in the news right now. And, I, I mean, you know, not that you want to detract away, but you've got a platform. Your thoughts on what's occurring with the Haitian people in Springfield, Ohio. Well, I put my prayers out to Springfield. The um, only thing I can say is just continue to pray and also continue, don't be discouraged about what's, what the right side is trying to do to discourage you. Um, like I said, continue to achieve your goals and to move forward and let things happen how it's supposed to happen. So that's the thing I have to say. Yeah, Haitian people are resilient, man. The whole culture. You know, I'm from the Bahamas, and everybody in the Bahamas has Haitian in their yeah. family. I love the food. I love the culture. And the one thing I love most is pickles. Yes. 
I have I, I have a few that I man. have a few of that myself. Not not all the time, but I do occasionally have some pickly. So I gotta have pickly, especially with the chicken. Yeah, if you're not Haitian, then you don't know what we're talking about. But pickleys is pepper. You can put it on any and everything. Oh yes. Put on any and everything. Uh, are you uh, is that your favorite dish? What's your favorite Haitian dish? Well, my favorite Haitian dish is I would say the soup. No, soup, no, 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 no. Legume. Sauce pois. Ooh. Legume sauce pois. That's my favorite dish. Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Jocelyn, boy, tell him, man, thank you so much for coming here. Oh, thank you for having I me. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for having you me. Know, I just seen you at the uh, Cigar Lounge, and uh, I stepped to you, man, about coming here. You know, you were so open, and you've always been so friendly. And, folks, you got to meet this man. Remember the book signing is when? November 19th at 6 p.m. Says be from 6 to 7 at the North Regional Library on 183rd in Miami Gardens. No doubt. We're going to take some pics and we're going to meet some fans here. Come on down to Grails, Miami, right here in Wynwood. Jocelyn Bargella, the Detroit Lions, a legend in the building tonight. Thank you so much, Thank man. Thank you for having me. For joining me on the Jeff Fox Show. Thank you. Um, this book is a must have. A must have. I'm all right, we'll be back right here on the Jeff Box Show with more fun, more guests, and more drinks. And we get it up. Thursday Night Football from Grells, right here in Miami, in Wynwood. <laughs>